Hi there. Here is a complete video that will describe the Timo 450 and explain to you how to install, use and manoeuvre with your Timo 450. Firstly, we thank you very much for your confidence and for buying your Timo 450. We have developed this first model for you, for boaters, fishermen, kayakers and probably many uses we do not even thought of. We wanted to make it easier for you to make short trip in a tender, small boat or sailing dinghy. Timo 450 is an electric motor produced near Nantes in France. It weighs 4.9 kg and develops 450 watts or around the equivalent of 1.5 horsepower. It can move small boats up to 2.5 meters such as this dinghy with two to three people on board. With its static truss of 12 kg, it can move boats up to 500 kg. Another aim of this video is to show you how to use it to avoid the little mistakes we have noticed over the years. We designed the Timo 450 in the simple way. There is three main parts. The top section, which contain the handle, the gray tube, which contain the battery and all the power electronics. This gray tube is connected by a spiral cable to the motor block, in turn connected to the propeller. First of all, the Timo 450s has a right and one way up. The two fins here should be at the top of the propeller protection nozzle, while the single fin of the Timo 450 is at the bottom. You will also see that the correct orientation means the name sticker facing upwards. Finally, the ring, the flat part is at the bottom and the rounded part is at the top. This orientation is very important because the protection of the propeller was developed to limit its drag and increase its hydrodynamics efficiency. Therefore, respect this orientation to achieve the ideal propulsion. The Timo 450 is telescopic. You have a clamp here that allow you to adjust the height from 1.3 meters to 1.7, depending of the position in the dinghy or to suit the type of the boat. You can also adjust the direction of the handle to port starboard depending on your position in the boat and whether you are left or right handed. You can also use your index finger or thumb to accelerate. Be careful not to pick up your Timo 450 upside down without closing the collar as the handle may fall either into the mud or worse, into a rock hard, damaging surface. You will notice that there is now a stop to prevent the gray tube from coming loose from the blue tubes. On the Timo 450, there is a stop mark or a red sticker to be respected. Do not go beyond this mark as this could cause the Timo to become dislodged and damaged. We strongly advise you to read the user manual, which you can download from our website and which you will find in the description of this video. The Timo 450 is a propulsion device. It must not be used for any other purpose. As with any machine with a particularly sharp and fast rotating propeller, there a potential for accident. The propeller must of course always be used only in the water for obvious safety reasons. While we are on the subject of safety, Timo 450 comes with an electromagnetic key that allows you to turn your motor on and off. It is strongly advised that the key is never left nearby to discourage unintended use by children, for example, or by people with malicious intent who might steal your Timo 450. Turn the magnetic key right or left to start your Timo. The gauge will light up and after just 5 seconds, your Timo 450 is ready for use. Go forward by pressing the blue trigger in the progressive manner. Go stern by pressing the black button plus the blue trigger. Always check the Timo charge level before putting to sea. An important thing to know is that there are 4 blue bars and 1 red bar, which allow your reserve power. There may be a variation with delay between the time the engine is running and when you stop accelerating. To measure exactly how much battery charge remains, it must be done when the motor is stopped. You can find a tutorial on the di different battery level on our YouTube channel. In any case, remember to carry 
all on board. They are still mandatory. Here you will find the location of the charging socket, which is protected either by a cap or by a rotating ring. Always remember to close the ring after use. Your Timo 450 is completely waterproof. It is IP67 certified and in its entirety. This means that it can remain submerged for at least 30 minutes at a depth of one meter. The plug itself is waterproof and can get weight. You will see, for example, that there are holes in the handle. It can fill up with water without damaging your motor and the handle part. Please note that the only part that must remain absolutely waterproof is the great tube. It contains the battery cells and all the power electronics. So be careful never to unscrew or damage this part. If it sustains a major impact, contact us and please do not continue to use it. The Timo 450 is waterproof, but does not float. It will sink immediately if you are clumsy by nature or if you are boating in different difficult conditions. We advise you to use our optional buoyancy kit, which can be found or a range of accessories. The Timo 450 comes with this very simple rowlock. It is the simple and most effective option we have found. It is designed to be mounted on the back of your tender, either on the vertical or horizontal panel. The vertical position is preferable as it's allow for greater travel. It should be located as high as possible on your dinghy transom. This will allow the Timo 450 to return to a horizontal, horizontal position. When you approach a beach or shallow draft water, please note that the Timo 450 can be operating in 20 cm of water and we allow you to reach to areas previously inaccessible under power. There is no need to attach it to the center of your transom, just sit in your dinghy on a dry land, see what position you are comfortable in and attach it there. The rowlock is supplied with either thought, bolt or safe tapping screw depending on your transom. Be careful never to drill into a tender or transom that has watertight function. Make sure you drill into wood or plastic that is designed for this purpose and that will, it will not damage your tender. You can find a complete tutorial on this subject on our YouTube channel. And if you don't want to drill your boat, our range of accessories also include a removable rowlock. This is very useful using Timo 450 on a catamaran, sailing dinghy, or any other small craft. Finally, although we do not recommend it, you can use your Timo without a rowlock by holding it like this for a very short distance. To install the Timo 450 on your boat, we advise you to do so ashore whenever possible. Also, we will see later how to install it in the water when you start out from an anchorage, for example. If you are living from a beach or a muddy spot, we advise you to install it before you get in the water. You will be in a much more comfortable position. Close the little knob here it has an obvious safety function to prevent the motor from coming loose and falling into the water. Using a small attachment point with a bungee cord to the handle will allow you to free up your hands so you can put your dinghy without having to hold into your Timo 450. Never tie your Timo 450 directly to your right as it could drag you under if your motor falls into the water. Always wear a life jacket and carry pair hours. So now you know almost everything about the Timo 450. Next, I'm going to give you some advice on the handling and piloting of your Timo 450. Indeed, its long tail design is unique and as the propeller is offset compared to a conventional outboard motor, it may take you a few minutes to get used to it. To begin with, the first tip to know when installing Timo 450 on your rowlock when you have enough depth is not to install it horizontally. Indeed, it's a logical reflex for fear of dropping it, but the easiest way 
is to hold your TMO 450 with one hand firmly on the blue tube, plunge it directly into the water up to the clump and use your second hand to reach the rowlock and it's insert that you simply have to slide into the clump. This way you never strain your back and you, can, you can't let it go. Of course, remember to screw up the nut. Once this is done, you can have complete confidence and let go the Timo 450 and it will naturally sit horizontally. Once underway, you will also want to extend the great tube as far as it will go as it seems easier to maneuver. This is not entirely true and especially when you're going along. If the great tube is extended too far, the propeller will come out and the efficiency of the propulsion will be affected. The more you extend the great tube, the more weight you add to the interior of the boat. The more you pull it in, the more weight you add aft and the more effort you require to turn. You have to find the optimum setting. For this type of boat, it is the best to take it out to one third. It is not necessary to use your index finger to operate the trigger. Thanks to the ambidextrous rotating handle, you can turn it in the other way and use your thumb. This way you can hold your motor firmly without the risk of fatigue. Either way, you need to be comfortable. One indicator of whether you have found the right left of the gray tube is that at full power, your Timo should be balanced and you should be able to steer it almost with one finger. Once started, know that if you keep the trigger pulled all the way down, you have another 45 minutes of runtime. If you only pull the trigger at 50 or 75%, you won't go half as fast. You may lose half a knot, but you can double your range. This is because battery consumption is non-linear. Your Timo 450 is not designed to go fast. The propeller is designed to be efficient at a speed of three knots. This also means that you won't be able to go upstream in a current of more than three knots head-on. Be aware that it is more efficient to turn at half throttle than at a full throttle. This is quite clear. In general, for precise maneuver, accelerate between 10 to 50%. You will be surprised. You can even do a 360 turn by passing your engine under the tube or under your tender. I'm going to show you how to do an optimal beach start. If you are on your own, it is best to push your dinghy while holding your Timo 415 and use your movement momentum to get away from the beach. If you don't want to get your feet wet, you can also start in reverse by boarding from the front of your dinghy. Be aware that reversing is more of a braking or maneuvering function than an effective means of going astern. Even if you can do reverse, you, can, you will be sending a lot of water over the boat, which will reduce the effectiveness going backward. At first, for coming alongside the pontoon or your boat, some people aren't entirely comfortable. With reverse, what is simple is that you can aim at where you want to go and it will get there without having to maneuver several times. If the Timo 450 gets stuck in seaweed, first try putting it in reverse and then forward several times. If it doesn't work, lift the motor aboard your dinghy and remove the weed. Do not hesitate to regularly check that no algae remains around the propeller. This can affect the performance of your motor. You can find our video of uh, winterizing your Timo 415 by using this link or on our YouTube channel. In terms of accessory, we have of course the carrying case, which also protects it from knock or scratches, the buoyancy kit, the anti-thief device that you can clip onto the dinghy and make a quick trip ashore. The Timo 450 comes with a 220 volt charger. However, if you wish to charge it on your boat, you can buy a 12 volt charger converter, which is less energy hungry than the 220 volt charger and can be plugged into a cigarette lighter socket. In both cases, 
it will recharge in three hours and a half is in it's completely flat lastly you can find a full selection of spare parts propeller nozzle magnetic keys as well as other very practical extra in your range of accessories please do not hesitate to contact our support team or your store advisor for any further information thank you for watching this video on behalf of all the Temo teams, I wish you a pleasant boating. We will see you soon.